Yep, depot. Well, I don't know what this guy was doing, but no, I didn't get his dark bow. Oh, I got 300 freaking nature runes, though. Hello. All right. <laughs> She being me, man? Not, not on my watch. Oh, he's gone. You're gone. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> 567k descent. Oh yeah, you're done. Ross from friends. That's what his death message is gonna be. Nature rune, okay. In 10 hours. We're gonna take this sucker to a couple of different bosses. Some of them consistent money, some of them we may have to get lucky. Anyway guys, before we get started here, if you do enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to leave it a like. It really does help my video get recommended to others. Anyway guys, let's get started. Well, uh, one problem already, we haven't even started yet. Apparently, you can't auto-attack anything if you don't have arrows in your quiver. So with the Twisted Bow equipped, it's not working. That said, I have thought of a workaround. If we hop into a free play world with the Twisted Bow equipped, I think it'll let me attack things. Okay, let's give this a try, and well, we're not really hitting it with the bow, but this is pretty much as close as we can get. So we're gonna go ahead and kill, I don't know, five or ten minutes worth of cows, get a little bit of money to start with, and then we'll carry on to our very first actual money maker. But that said, cows, not that bad. Each kill is actually worth about 250 GP. Okay, look at that, actually, cow hide, raw beef, and bones are all worth a significant amount. Damn, that's so good. Maybe we should just do 10 hours of cows. Now, clearly, we need to invest into some gear. Uh, first up here, I want to get the accumulator. Along with some really early game armor and ammunition. Okay, so there we go, we got the Avis Accumulator. While we're in the area, we're also going to go ahead and buy maybe the... Ugh, I don't know, black gloves, I guess. Those are kind of cost effective. But for now, we don't have really much money to work with. Uh, so I guess we'll go with that. Now we just did another round of cows and we're about 20 minutes in. I think that's probably going to be enough money to work with. Now our very first legitimate money maker I'm going to try out is killing the giant mole actually going to be another first. I mean, I have killed them all a couple times. And right now, especially, the money per hour is actually pretty good. I think we can get over a mil an hour with the Twisted Bow, which for how easy and low risk it is, I think is pretty good. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be rocking with. Full snake skin, uh, 35 rune arrows, and a Twisted Bow. Now we're going to be using the Falador shield because, well, I don't hate myself. We're just doing a 10-hour RuneScape video. Now that does require the Falador hard diary, but it's a free item. And without it, the mole is just plain out too annoying. Okay, there's our very first mole kill. That was pretty easy. Now it very consistently drops mole skins and uh, mole claws, which right now are actually pretty valuable. Like that one mole kill was worth 20,000 GP. And look at it. He has a Santa hat on. It could not get any better. Okay, so we just did a few kills that will probably be good for now. Oh my god. Two air runes. You really don't need very much money to upgrade to what is effectively nearly the best ranged armor in the game. That being black. It comes in. I got 1.7 mil cash. I got frog slippers too. See, look at that. Now he's trying to go for me. Oh my goodness, dude. 1.8 mil cash. <laughs> if only he had more. Dude, yes, that's so sick. This adventure video took a really long time to record, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. So starting off, we're going to be PKing on the med level. Yes! <laughs> Got him, finally, it's been hours. That's gotta be like, maybe four or five mil. Like four mil, yeah. Hmm. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, you're gonna rag me out of this world, huh, bro? That's gotta suck for him, bro. 17 mil for me. <laughs> so as you guys know, I normally like to wander around to different locations in PvP worlds to see if I can find anybody there. And most of the time, I don't find anybody. But every now and then, I do. And then there's the times I find something like this. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I do. Wait, one sec. There is a drop party happening. I'm smashing the balloons. I just got, wait, I just got coins. I got 421k. What the hell? Another, another cash stack. 40k. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Another cash stack. All right. and the chile paisia. Um, I didn't have the second one, so I just used poblano, which is close enough, and it was grown in the garden. Um, and then garlic and tomatoes and onion. It probably won't be as spicy this time just because I put the poblano instead of the other one. Um, but that's why we bought some dried chilies. Oh, dried chilies too, from the garden too. Yeah, it's true. Maybe it'll be hotter on this side, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of oil. It's a lot easier to walk in these. Still kind of surprised you still do sink in a little bit. Not nearly as much as those. When we bought these, they come in like um, weight classes for the size. I think the smallest pair was like up to 150 pounds. And on these ones, I wanted ones that were better in deep powder. So I went like overkill. I went with the ones that are good to like 250 pounds. So definitely glad I went with these ones. We're gonna go ahead and hike around a little more. Thank you. 